This is all part of our RISE initiative, raising investment in safety for everyone. And hopefully today's announcement shows material progress around recruitment of new officers. We have a lot more work to do. That'll be a, the latter part of our conversation uh, this morning and this afternoon. Uh, but you have my commitment and the commitment of our union leaders around this table to make sure we can see material progress for the residents of Cleveland. We'll have a few moments for questions. How does this bonus going into effect? We have some of those recruits that have left already. Can you say, hey, we have yep. the bonus? Or? So uh, after the press leaves, we'll be signing the MOU, and hopefully as soon as the agreement's signed, we'll have the new bonus in effect immediately. So the ones that left, we're That's all a part of the open discussion. Yep. Have you had any discussions yet today, or do you plan to later today about issue 24, no. Treasury Section 115? I know officers you know, certainly have their concerns about that. Is that on the table? Yeah, so uh, both Jim and Jeff really expressed some of their concerns about um, the level of, of, of discipline that currently exists inside the department and how that's affecting morale uh, and culture. And it's feedback I've, I've heard as mayor from our men and women fighting violent crime all across the city. I believe we have a dual mandate of aggressive law enforcement to keep our city safe, but also a constitutionally appropriate policing. Uh, and I know Jim and Jeff are committed to giving our administration some tangible ideas and tangible recommendations to make sure we can continue to have thoughtful, constitutionally appropriate policing, but also aggressive law enforcement to keep our city safe. Mr. Mayor, how do you uh, plan to keep the offices that you have retention? Oftentimes, yep. we recruit, train, and then they are, in my word, not really stolen from us by the uh, Minister Powers. What are you going to do to make sure the folks who you hire, we train, we pay for, stay in the city? Well, that will be the second part of our conversation uh, this morning, uh, talking about substantial investments in additional uh, pay increases for the men and women of our police department and retention bonuses as well too to make sure they feel supported to make sure financially we would be a competitive department we are in a war for talent right now across the country when it comes to law enforcement and i've given my word as mayor that i'm not going to spare any expense to invest in public safety and uh, we're looking forward to those continued conversations around additional investments related to wage increases and retention bonuses as part of our retention aspects of these ongoing conversations. 